hello friends today we will check out how to find the global period for any cpt code the, the cpt code may have 0 10 or 90 days global period so there is a tool actually in medicare cms website where you can find all this information for any particular cpt code so here we have checked that the cpt code 27446 we are checking the global period for that cpt code the information which you have to select here we have payment policy indicator and all modifier information in this tool so once you check this you have to click the search fees option you will get below the information about global period so here 2427446 CPT code has a global period of 90 days so this global period is very important because some of the services are included in the global period and if some services are included or some overlap is there or something is there then you have to use any post operative mo modifier which can be used which can help in the building of that procedure which is done in the global period so we will find out what are the modifiers used in the global period which help in building the procedure codes done in the global period so suppose there is an initial procedure code uh, which has a global days of 90 days so we will take an example if suppose a, a patient whose surgery is done on a particular day and he comes for an unplanned, vi unplanned visit within 19 days again so that unplanned visit can be related to the initial procedure or it can be unrelated to initial procedure so if some surgery is done suppose uh, in initial procedure and suddenly some bleeding is happening from that surgical site so it's like a complication and it is happening and which is related to initial procedure because the site is same uh, which was done in the initial procedure so this is related so in such case any procedure is done to stop the bleeding the modifier 78 will be used with that procedure because that is that that, that service is done with related to the initial procedure but uh, suppose any fracture is done on right hand in initial procedure and he is coming or she is coming again for an unplanned visit within 90 days for left hand so in that case the uh, diagnosis is unrelated and the procedure will be also unrelated to the initial procedure because initial procedure was done on right hand and now the next procedure within 30 days is done on the right hand so that is unrelated so here we will use 79 modifier with the procedure done on right on left hand within the global period so this is the difference between 78 and 79 if it unplanned visit is related to the initial procedure 78 modifier if the unplanned visit is unrelated to the initial procedure 79 modifier so we will see the enum visit also which happens within global period first we will see the planned return if the patient return patient return is planned within 90 days you will add 58 modifier to the to that procedure code because some procedure takes two three procedures to fin finish that uh, um, diagnosis or finish that treatment so in initial procedure one um, one service will be done and another service will be planned for after 20 days or 30 days so it is like a planned procedure or stage procedure so in that case we'll add 58 modifier do not get confused between 78 and 58 because both 71 and 58 will be related to initial procedure only difference is 78 is unplanned visit and 58 is a planned visit now coming for an enm visit uh, in global period so enm visit have different modifiers 24 25 27 so suppose if an enm visit which is related to initial procedure code like so in such cases those ENM visits are considered as follow up ENM visit and those are included in initial procedure code. Suppose any fracture is done in initial, pre initial procedure code and after 2 3 days again an ENM visit done to see how the patient is progressing 
or how the patient health is so in that case those exams are already related to initial procedure go and those are actually included in the global period so those should not be billed in the global period because those are inclusive procedure but if an ENM visit is done which is unrelated to the initial procedure in such cases those procedures should be billed and are payable with 24 modifier because those doesn't have any relation with the initial CPT code so those CPT codes needs to be payable and should be billed so ENM visits so those ENM visits which are billable and unrelated to the initial procedure code should be billed with 25 modifier 24 modifier and then only it can be billed or it can be paid so these are actually the main differences between the global modifier or the post-operative modifier which are used in the global period do not use any ENM with ENM modifier with a procedure code and do not use any procedure code modifier like 78 79 or 58 with ENM visit code because ENM visit CPT codes have particular ENM modifiers which should be used along with them only like 24 25 27 so this is the main difference between the modifiers and what how to use this modifier during the global period so if you have gained any knowledge from this video do like this video and share it and do subscribe to my channel for getting more information on this topic thank you